well, well, if it ain't Let's Play Sahara Games. It's Sierra Games. That's what I said. Savannah Games. <sighs> Listen, I'm just trying to get to the lands below. The lands below? I can't help you with that. What? Why not? I was told you could help. Well, I suppose I could. You just said you can't. I said I can't help you. Why can't you help me? Well, you need a thousand subscribers to get to the lands below. <sighs> this is going to be tougher than I thought. Torrent, when are you gonna grow up? You pick up those tools from town like I told you? Um, I thought I'd do that tomorrow. No, I need them in the morning. You get into town right now. Yes, sir. Hurry home, Torrin. Don't be late for dinner. Okay, Mom. This isn't what I want in life. I should be a hero. Heroes don't run errands. Right, Boogle? Hey, Boogle? Boogle! Asleep again? Ah, oh, Boogle. Is this all my life will ever be? Running errands to this little town? I just... 
I just don't want to live my life without ever having lived my life. <laughs> They never hurt anyone! What happened? I saw it. I saw everything. Who are you? What are you doing here? I was just passing by when all that started. I was so scared I hid behind your barn. Who could have done this? It must have been one powerful sorcerer. Or... Sorceress. Why? And who around here has such power? No one I know, but once there was such a person. But no, Licentia's been gone for years. Licentia? Who's Licentia? Oh, I don't think it could possibly be her. She was banished to the lands below years ago. The lands below? She must have been evil to be sent there. Yes, and there's no way you could ever find her down there. I know what I'll do. I'll find this Licentia and force her to release my parents. I'm sure you will. I wish I had a pleber for every time I've swung this. Hey, Boogle! Let's go! Yep, the stove's still hot, all right. That's where Dad always sat after dinner and drifted off to sleep. That was Mom's favorite chair. I hope she's okay. Hey, you! Come! Come here, Inchy!
berries look ripe. No matter how many times I see Crystal City, it's still impressive. What are you looking at? Yeah, you got nothing better to do? Staring at snails? Well, I, uh, no, actually. Wait, hey, I have a lot to do. But who are you? Who are we? Who in the Tenebris are you? Yeah, who are you? I'm Torin. Torin Farman. Farmhand? Yeah, you look like a farmhand. <laughs> Farm hand, good one, Slim. Thanks, Slime. I five. All right. <laughs> Slim and Slime, you guys seem different from the others I've met around here. Different? You bet we're different. Yeah, what do you think? You're talking to just another couple of snails? Yeah, you're quite a pair. Why, that's right. We are a pair. <laughs> a pair. Good one, Slim. Thanks, Slime. High five. All right. <laughs> What's so funny about being a pair? Cause we are a pair! A figure sliming pair! Yeah, we're going out for the Moat Olympics in the figure sliming event, Pairs Division! So excuse us now, we gotta work out while the light holds. Good luck! Maybe I'll come back here again later. You can bet we won't come looking for you! <laughs> looking for you! Good one, Slim! Thanks, Slime! High five! All right! What's so funny about being a pair? Cause we are- Yeah, we're- So excuse- Good luck! Maybe I'll come back here again later. You can bet we won't come looking for you! <laughs> looking for you! Good one, Slim! Thanks, Slime! High five! All right! <laughs> If you want a square meal, this looks like the root. Ow! Whoa! These spines are razor sharp. I'd better be careful.
obviously too soft to walk on. This works. Uh, got it. Oh, You'd be better off worrying about getting off that rope than reaching for your bag. There has to be a way to reach safety. If I could only reach that branch. If I could only reach that branch. There has to be a way to reach safety. Better off worrying about getting off that rope than reaching for your bag.
reach that branch. If I could only reach that branch. Now how am I going to get my bag? Boogle, stop! What? Boogle? You mean this whole time you could have walked right out on that bog? <laughs> Only when it's funny, huh? I'll only when it's funny you. Case of emergency, break glass. What could that mean? <coughs> ah, nice blue color, eh, Boogle? Yeah, what's that? Uh, you rang? Huh? Who are you? Where'd you come from? What are you doing there? You trying to sneak by me? Oh, I wasn't asleep, no sir. I heard you come through. Well, I wasn't trying to sneak by you. I'm Torin, and I really need to get to the lands below. Can you help me? The lands below? You're one of them? Well, you can't stay up here. You go right back down where you came from. Yep, nobody from down there gets past me, and you won't neither. Oh no, you misunderstand. I'm not from the lands below. I want to go there. So, you do know how to get there? Go there? Why, no one goes there. That's no place for any self-respecting citizen. Why, them worlds is filled with nutsos, malcontents, psychos, politicians. No, there's no way I'd let you go down there. So you do know. Oh, please help me, sir. I must get to the lands below. May I come inside? Nope, no way. Nobody gets inside this guardhouse except my replacement. Don't know where he is either. Was supposed to be here 10, maybe 12 years ago. Never been this late before. No, you gotta go. Get out of here and don't come back.
Maybe this will get someone's attention. Halt! Who goes there? Torin of the Farman Valley. The bridge is up! Yes, I see, but I thought perhaps I would be able to convince you to, um... Oh. Uh, I guess not. Hello? Halt! Oh, you are halted. Yes. Well, uh, would you mind moving a little? What? Why? You're throwing off my timing! Well, okay. Halt! Who goes there? Me. You know it's me. You just told me to start walking. Well, okay. Halt! But now I am halted again. I halted when you first said, Halt! What? I didn't say halt. Did too. Did not. Did I? Oh. Oh, eh, well, never mind. Eh, uh, go away. Go away? I haven't asked for permission to enter yet. Go away anyway. But couldn't you... Uh, I guess not. Halt! Oh no, not again. Look, all I want to do is get inside. You can't! The bridge is up! Yes, I can see that. I thought perhaps you could... Hello? <sighs> Well, I guess you can't. Halt! Oh, how many times are we gonna do this? How many times are you gonna toss those pebbles up here? Look, I need information about Licentia, about the lands below. Can you help me? Lands below? You don't want to know about that place. And as to Licentia? I've never heard of that place. She's not a place. She's a sorceress. I must find her. Well, I guarantee you she is not here. Now go away. You are interrupting my nap time. Oh, brother, you're no help. Nor shall I be. Good night. Hello? I cannot hear you. I'm asleep. How could you be? You're talking. No, I'm not. I'm asleep. You are not. I too. Are not. Too. I give up. Besides, if a sorceress is anywhere, she's not in Crystal City. Hello? I cannot hear you. I'm asleep. How could you be? You're talking. No, I'm not. I'm asleep. You are not. I too. Are not. Two. I give up. Besides, if a sorceress is anywhere, she's not in Crystal City. there um it's me i'm <clears throat> i'm your replacement what you are finally it's about time you must be 10 years late where have you been uh heavy traffic huh well whatever 
Hurry up and get inside here. I am powerful hungry. Uh, okay. Hmm. Can't say I much care for the new uniforms. So, get started. Okay. Uh, started what? Don't they teach you young'uns anything at basic anymore? Well, maybe, but uh, I wasn't exactly at the top of my class, you know? Hmm, I can see that. Don't tradition mean nothing no more? What's your generation coming to? Say, where's your provisions? Provisions? Well, I, uh, uh... My meal, boy. My meal. You know the core tradition. Before taking over, the replacement guard always cooks the departing guard his final meal. Oh, uh-huh. I knew that. Uh, yeah, that's still taught to all of us. What is it you'd like, exactly? You mean you didn't bring it with you? Well, you won't find no home forked comforts out here. It's your problem, not mine. I know what I want. Exactly what do you want for your last meal? Last meal? I ain't dead yet. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in here? You my replacement? Oh, brother, why, yes, I am your replacement. You know, there's a tradition that the new guard prepares the departing guard's meal, so I'm gonna fix yours. Dang right I know, and I know what I want. Hope you brought it with you. What'll you have? For my appetizer, I want juice. Berry juice. Freshly squeezed, none of that can crap either. Berry juice, huh? Here you are, Herman. I brought you some berries. Great. Now squeeze them. What? Oh, all right. Uh, where's the juicer? I told you, over there, on the cabinet. Boogle, can you be an axe? Here you go. Say, uh, what kind of berries are those? Why, chuck berries, of course. Ah, that tastes great. But now I'm getting a little hungry. Oh, brother. You know what I really miss? I'm kind of afraid to hear. Slaghetti and peat balls. Slaghetti and peat balls? Don't you mean spaghetti and meatballs? Ain't never heard of no such thing as that. Say, you sure you're from around here, boy? No, no. Slaghetti and peat balls is exactly what I crave. Oh, okay. I'll fix it for you. What's in it? Why? Slugs and peat bars. What do you think? Mm, I'll be sure to round up just enough for one meal.
Say, guys, could you help me with those slugs over there on the next tree? I can't even get close to them. How can I trap them? Trap them? Yeah, you could. If you had bait. And we know just what they like, don't we, Slime? Sure do, Slim, but we can't tell you, Torin Farmhand. Why not? I'm honest, trustworthy, sincere. Oh, it's not that. Nah, it's because you haven't done anything for us yet. What could I do for you? Help us turn over a new leaf. <laughs> turn over a new leaf. Good one, Slim. Thanks, Slime. I five. All right. While I'm not totally unfamiliar with 12-step programs... <laughs> That's not what I meant by turn over a new leaf. What he meant was, we need a new leaf to practice our pear's figure sliming. Yeah, a big leaf. A really big leaf. You know, something with style. Class. Chlorophyll. Retsin. Something to give us that competitive edge. Something that will put us over the top, slime-wise. Yeah, you got anything like that? Hey, Boogle, let's go. Hey, you! Come back here. Come here, Inchy. This might be the biggest leaf here, but then again it might not. This might be the biggest leaf here, but then again it might not. Too tiny. Too short. Too small. Stop! That's it! That's the biggest leaf of all! Oh, nice call. Thanks, Inchy. That's Mr. Worm to you. Hey, come back here. Hmm. Huh. Now, which one is it? Oh, not again. Gotcha. Oops. Ooh, yuck. Uh, hey, Boogle, get that, will ya? <laughs> Mom. 
I don't need any more leaves. If I can find you a really big leaf... We'll tell you everything you always wanted to know about slugs. But we're afraid to ask. Which is more than you know now. Sure. I found it, boys. This is the biggest leaf in all the woods. You? You did? You brought us a leaf? Yep, and here it is. Now tell me about those slugs. How can I capture them? Ooh, nice texture. Nice structure. Good size. Professional markings. Okay, it's a deal. Yep, done deal. You want a I-5? Uh, no thanks, no. Your loss. Okay, here you go. Slugs love scum. Yeah, pond scum is good. Nah, you can have your pond scum. Bog scum, now that's the best. Bog scum? No, definitely moat scum. That's what you want. Oh yeah, moat scum is choice. Too bad you can't get it. What do you mean, can't get it? I know where the moat is. Yeah, you know where, but do you know what? <laughs> like what's in that moat? Oh, yeah. Croctopus. And lots of them. Wouldn't lots of them be croctopi? Croctopi, croctopuses, don't matter. You'll never get close enough to the water to get scum from the moat. Wait a minute. Didn't you say you were going to the moat Olympics? Yeah, why? Well, if I took you over there, would you help me get some moat scum? Slim, what do you think? Okay by me. Better than crawling. Okay, big boy, let's go moating. Here, hop on your leaf. Hello? I cannot hear you! I'm asleep. How could you be? You're talking. No, I'm not. I'm asleep. You are not. I too. Are not. Too. I give up. Besides, if a sorceress is anywhere, she's not in Crystal City.
The croctopus may well combine the worst characteristics of both animals, but its skin makes an excellent laptop computer case. Here we are, boys, the site of the next Moat Olympics. I hope you win the gold medal. Thanks, Torin. You're okay for such a dry person. Yeah, thanks. And in return, I'll put in a good word for you with some of my croctopus friends. Good word? I don't need good words. I need moat scum and plenty of it. Oh, you do, do you? And exactly where do you want it? Why, right up here. <laughs> hey, Croc, pass the boy some scum. Well, I guess I'll just leave this delicious moat scum right here for a while. Now I'm gonna get you. Those slugs are so fast, I'll never catch them like this. If only I could make a trap. What? Ow! Whoa! These spines are razor sharp. I'd better be careful. Can you make a box right over that moat scum? That's it, Boog. Now we've got him. No more caffeine for you guys. Thanks, Boogle.
Here's your order, sir. Slugs and peat moss, just as you requested. But boy, did I have to go through a lot just to bring these to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You probably just walked around that cliff to the deli. What? You mean... <laughs> just a little guardhouse humor, boy. Ain't no food within days of this place. Now get over there in that kitchen and rattle them pots and pans. All right, but this is my first attempt at cooking such a delicacy. Well, at least it's quick to prepare. Here you are, monsieur. Bon appétit. Now, can we get on with it? Now, the perfect conclusion to a near-perfect meal. Dessert. And a nice latte. Dessert? Latte? Oh, no. Oh, stop your griping. You can skip the latte. Just bring me some dessert. Huh. All right. What'll you have for dessert? Why, there's only one thing that'd top slaghetti and peat balls. I'm afraid to ask. Root. Yeah, let's make sure of something. If I prepare you a, a root, then will I be done? Bingo. Bright boy. Yep, good old root would be just fine. One large root. Want to help me fix it? No, I'll just wait right here. Somehow, I guessed as much. Say, nice square shape, too. Them's the best kind. Okay, how about if I make it into a pie? While that's in the oven bacon, why don't you and I head back to the Phenocrest chamber? Ah, just smell that aroma. You know, there's nothing like coming home to find the square root pie. Phew, say, uh, we going out on that joke? No, we're going out through the secret passage. Wait here while I get something. Pick a shard. Any shard. <laughs> I've been waiting 15 years to use that line. There you go, boy. The joint's all yours. I'm gonna grab my pie and hit the road. Gotta get on home, you know. <laughs> that is, if I can remember where home is. But wait, what about me? Aren't you supposed to train me in how this thing works? Works? Can't. Don't remember. 
Heck, it don't matter no way, boy. Nobody's come through here in years. But is this the way to the lands below? Could be. But you don't care. All you gotta do is make sure nobody from down there gets up here. These stones are much too large to lower by hand. That console must be the answer. That podium must be important to this huge crystal, or it wouldn't be protected by those giant stones. These stones are much too large to lower by hand. That console must be the answer. That podium must be important to this huge crystal, or it wouldn't be protected by those giant stones. All I have to do is lower all of those stones.
This powder must be important. But what if there isn't any of it in the lands below? I'd better find something to hold enough so I can get home again. This powder must be important. But what if there isn't any of it in the lands below? I'd better find something to hold enough so I can get home again. Looks like the old boy took the square root pi and split. Hope he doesn't get a divide by zero error. Looks like the old boy took the... Hey, Boogle, let's go. I searched Mom's sewing basket thoroughly last time. There's nothing else I need from there besides Inchy. Dad's old tobacco pouch would be perfect for carrying the Oresti powder. This powder must be important. 
But what if there isn't any of it in the lands below? I'd better find something to hold enough so I can get home again. I'd better get enough of this powder to last. If it does take me to the lands below, I'll need enough to get home again. Now, how do I get through this thing? Back in the bag, buddy. Hang on, Boogle. I hope I'm right about this. Sir, they were both in there. And they're gone. And the child. Missing. The child must be found immediately. Whoa! Oh, not again. Live on CD-ROM from beautiful cliffside Escarpa, it's The Bitter Nuts! With Jack Blackman as Mr. Bitter Nuts! And starring Sandra Mulhani as Mrs. Bitter Nuts! With Vinyl McCulty as Little Bobby Bitter Nuts! Today, we join the Bitter Nuts just as they hear a knock on their door. Just a minute. Holly, can you get that? Oh, never mind. Do I have to do everything around here? Coming! Yo! Aren't you the giant economy size visitor? <laughs> You know, I'd ask you in, but I'm not sure there's enough air in here. <laughs> Holly, take a look at this guy. This is what a real man looks like. <laughs> Holly? Oh, honey, don't mind him. He's just acting his IQ. 
<laughs> so, uh, you want to come in? Or maybe that should be, can you come in? <laughs> Why, thank you. I will. <laughs> hey, Mom, I... Hey, Mom, I... Whoa! Who's the big guy? <laughs> we don't know, honey. <laughs> We're still waiting to find out. <laughs> My name is Torin from the lands above. I'm Mrs. Bitternut, and this is what's left of my husband, Mr. Bitternut. <laughs> and that's Bobby, our son. <laughs> So, uh, what's that thing in your purse? <laughs> Why, that's my little buddy, Boogle. <laughs> oh, he won't hurt you. He likes people. Yeah? Then he won't fit in here. <laughs> If he's smart, he'll stay off my furniture. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Put that down. Mrs. Bitternut, I was wondering. Selfish. That's all they are. Lived right across the chasm for years. Do we ever hear from them? I'm sorry, what? Oh, that King Rupert. He really fries my cornbread. <laughs> Lives almost next door. Does he ever invite us over? No. <laughs> Why, you'd think he was better than us or something. <laughs> I'm sure King Rupert means to be nice to you. Uh, perhaps he's just busy. Mmm, busy for 20 years? And that queen of his... Die? Yeah, she should. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with her? Too snooty for me, that's what, Toring. Why, she acts like they didn't have a daughter that was... Hey, have you met their daughter? What about their daughter? Her name's Lena, or something like that. <laughs> you two should get together, Toring. You have so much in common. <laughs> we do? Like what? Oh, uh, your looks, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you two deserve each other. <laughs> How would you describe Lena? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, she has a nice personality. <laughs> She's kind to her parents, I suppose. <laughs> She's a good climber. <laughs> She's lots of fun. <laughs> She's a good dancer. <laughs> She's got a great personality. <laughs> In other words, she's a lot like you. How would you describe Lena? Well, uh, she, 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 she,
Hello, young man. Did he touch you, boy? <gasps> not really, Mom. What do you mean, not really? You touch that boy again, I'll have you arrested! We don't need no uppity strangers from some other land touching our kids. Hello, young man. Did he touch you, boy? <gasps> Not real. What do you mean? How do you do, sir? My name is Torin. Leave him alone. He ain't spoke to nobody in years. <laughs> yes, I can see why. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Put that down. Hurry, Boog. Hop in. Be sure to join us next time when we hear Bobby Bitter Not Ask. Just hang out till Mom's gone. <laughs> the Bitter Nuts is not filmed before a live audience. Hello! She's so busy washing, she never even noticed me. Someone left this clothespin just hanging here. Hit it, Boog!
I've got it! What a stench! I wonder what's inside there. It's already light enough in here to see that's a doorway. Boogle, can you be a worm? Check back inside there. I bet it's a way out of this land. Yeah, I bet it's dark in there. What are we gonna do? Boogle, turn into a lantern so we can see what's back there. Wow, Boogle. It looks brown and soft and smells terrible. We've just gotta have some of that. Say, Boogle, <laughs> would you mind being a shovel? I say, be a shovel! Okay, Boogle, turn back into a worm again and get out of there. But don't forget our sample. Hello, my name is Torin. Hey, get out of here! Oh, tripe, you're such a grump. Hello, young man. Uh, Hello, may I walk past? But of course. No! This is our ledge! Why don't you just jump off? Tripe? Oh, just ignore him. He's just a grumpy old stick in the bowels. Don't talk to him, Viscera. He must be up to no good. I don't like him. Besides that, he's ugly. Ugly? Well... Yeah, you're ugly. You're skinny and, and tall. Why, I've only seen one person tall as you. Tripe, stop it. Come to think of it, young man, you do remind me of someone hereabouts. Someone special, too. Royalty. She'd be quite a catch for someone that looks like, uh, someone of your, uh, appearance. She? Oh, really? 
but uh, I'm not in the habit of taking dating advice from a vulture. On the other hand, I would like to get past you so I could head up those steps. Would you mind if I asked you to move from your nest? Mind? Of course not. Thank you. Don't mind, cause I ain't gonna. Now, Tripe, we could go for a little flight. I know my wing could sure use a stretch. Nope. My wing is fine. Not moving. Happy right here. I hereby order you to fly away. And I order you to shut up. And, perchance, did I forget to mention? Go away! There's just no reasoning with him when he's in one of his moods. Yeah, and I'm always in one. Boo! Yeah, right. You know, he has only one thing on his mind. His stomach. Maybe some dead meat will come flying by here. You never know. Thanks for nothing. Boo! Yeah, right. You know, he has only one thing on his mind. His stomach. Maybe some dead meat will come flying by here. You never know. Thanks for nothing. Hello! She's so busy washing, she never even noticed me. that tree grow. Well, well, what have we here? It's nice to see humility in somebody around here. Good day, sir. Yes, it is, isn't it? But then every day is a good day here in paradise. A land as lovely as this should be called paradise. Maybe it should, but we call it Escarpa. But the real question is, what do we call you? Oh, forgive me, sir. My name is Torin of the lands above. I am Rupert, King of Escarpa. And this is my lovely wife, Queen Di. Oh, how do you do, ma'am? Alarmed, I'm sure. Eh? What's that? I said, charmed, I'm sure. Uh, that's nice. Hmm, I'd better not. I bet the king has heard enough jokes like, I suppose she's your biggest fan. I love the artwork over your throne, Your Majesty. Why, thank you. But somehow I've always felt my shard collection was incomplete. As incomplete as your memory, you specious fool. What's that you say, darling? I said, no art can compete with our memories, my precious jewel. Oh, yes. Quite so, quite so. What do you think, boy? Isn't she something? Yes, that she is. King Rupert, Queen Di, I am here seeking Licentia, an evil sorceress who may be in this area. Have you heard of her? I haven't heard of any Licentia. He hasn't heard of anything he can remember. What's that, my queen? I said, if you'd heard a thing, you'd have her dismembered. Yes, that's true. 
She's not here in Escarpa, young man. Perhaps she's in some other world below us, but you are welcome to stay here as my guest for as long as you wish. Thank you, Your Majesty. Do you know how to get to the worlds below Escarpa? It seems I recall a connection back when I was a young boy, but oh, lately we've seen no one at all from the other world. I don't know why. I, I, I suppose we've just lost touch. You can say that again. Eh? I missed that die. I said, I say, that's a sin. Well, yes, I suppose. <clears throat> I didn't realize you felt so strongly about foreign affairs. If you only knew. I cannot stay long in Escarpa. I must find Licentia. Yes, I understand. But in your travels, if you happen upon a young lady named Lena, would you give her a message? Of course, but how will I know her? What does she look like? Um, well, uh, Lena is, um, very tall. Um, yes, nearly as tall as you. And nearly as unsightly. Excuse me? I said she should call home nightly. Oh. Is Lena from Escarpa? Of course. She is my daughter. Oh, really? A princess? Has she been gone long? Only a few days, but parents worry nonetheless. I understand. I know what it's like to miss a loved one. Di, my dear, why don't you give this boy a piece of your jewelry? That way Lena will know he represents us. Oh, brother, are you right in his pocket? What was that? I said, tell her mother sent her this locket. Oh, yes. Good idea. Here, Torin. Take this one. See? It has a picture of Rupert and me on the inside. I promise to keep it safe until I find her. Is it back, then forth, or forth, then back? Your Majesty, this tile seems similar to others I've seen around Escarpa. Oh, yes, I suppose it is. It was the most popular style a few years ago. May I have it for my collection? But what for? Oh. Nothing, I guess. I just kind of liked it. No! Not without a very good reason, young man. Your Majesty, I can see you are a lover of crystals. Yes, that's the only kind he is. What did you say? I said, yes, and how kind he is. Why, well, thank you, dear. But continue, boy. I humbly offer you this gift from the lands above. I think it will balance your set of crystal shards. May I? Yes, of course. There. <clears throat> and as this one simple shard completes the connection between the formerly distinct spectra above us, so too, therefore, may our two worlds be connected by uh, the, uh, the, the peace and uh, understanding that uh, comes from, um, you know, it, like that there. Oh. Here, here! Bravo. I say, what the devil was the boy talking about, Di? Beats me. Di, what did you say? I said, beats me. Well, I'll consider it. 
Why, thank you, Torren. It's perfect. And in return, I'd like to present you with this invitation to next week's Royal Ball. Nice swap. Shard for free tickets, you cheapskate. What? What did you say, Di? I said, I hope he's still free at this late date. Oh. Yes, boy, do attend. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, this tile seems similar to other... Oh, yes, I suppose it is. May I have it for my collection? But what for? Oh, nothing, I guess. I just kind of liked it. No! Not without a very good reason, young man. I hope this isn't one of those buffets with an eat-all-you-take policy. You mentioned a message for Lena, Your Majesty. Why, yes. Tell her to come home. We all miss her greatly. At least one of us. Eh? What's that you say, Di? I said every last one of us. Oh. Well, yes, that's right. So tell her that, my boy, if you happen upon her, that is. I will. I can't wait to meet Lena. I've never met a princess before. She is a wonderful child. So sweet-natured, I miss her greatly. <laughs> I can believe that. What was that? I said, uh, I can believe that you miss her. Hmm. Godspeed, Torin, and may our paths cross again soon. I can't wait to meet Lena. I... She is a... <laughs> what was that? I said... Hmm... Godspeed, Tor... Hey, Vulture! Try and catch this! Hey, Viscera! Look at that! Fresh dead meat! Flying! Hey, let's go after it! As always, I'm with you. Can't you hurry up a little? It's getting away from us! For goodness sake, for once in your life, can't you just stop and smell the rotting meat? What's that beside that little tree? Hmm, if only I could make that tree grow.
Oh, I think we can make it, Boog. <sighs> Boogle? Ooh, is that you? <laughs> no, wait. I think it's coming from up ahead. Uh-oh, Boog. Skunk's ahead. Hang on, Boog. I hope this is worth it. <sighs> She never says bad things about you. That smells wonderful. Ah, perfect. So nice. This ladder looks a little rickety, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> You've discovered the fast way to get to the lands below. Mm, she never says bad things about you. Could be. No, they won't. Essence of Leaf Star you're wearing. <laughs> Good riddance, I say. She is such a witch.
Your Majesty... Uh, yes, I suppose. May I have... But what for? Oh, nothing, I guess. I just kind of liked it. No! We now return you to the Little Nuts, already in progress. Just a minute! Coming! Do I have to do everything around here? Mrs. B, I just came from King Rupert, and he asked me to give you this. What is it? An invitation to the Royal Ball. <laughs> Yeehaw, Harley! We're going to the ball. Ain't you excited? Oh, he's never been excited in his life! <laughs> Toring, if there's anything we own that you need for your journey, why, just help yourself! It's yours! <laughs> why, thank you, Mrs. B. Of course, I'd love it if you'd take the mister over there! <laughs> Hey, hey, what are you doing? Put that down. That's my best trivet. Aw, oh, Mom, let him have it. You haven't cooked since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's right. Go on, take it. <laughs> But don't go taking anything else, you hear? And good luck on your quest, young man. Hey, any chance of you taking Junior along with you? None whatsoever, I'm afraid. But uh, thanks for the trivet, Mrs. B. How do you do, sir? My name is Torin. Leave him alone. He ain't spoke to nobody in years. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Hurry, Boog. Hop in. <laughs> Be sure to join us next time when we hear Bobby Bitter Not Ask. I know it'd be okay with your dad. <laughs> The Bitter Nuts is not filmed before a live audience.
Ooh, just don't look down. Boog, I've got it. I'll just put this clothespin on my nose. Then I won't be able to smell the skunks. Are you there? I'm here. Are you, Max? I'm here too, Sam. Then why do you ask? Oh, well, uh, I was, uh, just wondering. Could I pass through your cave? Well, you could try. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's been a while since our last target practice. Yeah, there's a chance, sweet miss. Please, fellas, let me pass. I'm a stranger in a strange land. You got that right. What do you think, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Why don't we put it up for a vote, Max? Good idea, Sam. Okay. All those in favor of letting just any Yahoo go wandering through our domicile, disrupting our comfortable lifestyle, and tracking in that horrible human odor, say I. Yeah. And all those in favor of raising tail and letting the juices fall where they may, say nay. I... Nay. Nay. Eh, uh, let's see. That's uh, one I, two nays, and one, uh... <laughs> the nays happen. Fire at will. Will? I thought he said his name was Torrid. hide behind that without getting soaked. Hang on, Boogle! We're going in!
reading, sir. Funny, he looks awake. Greetings, sir. I could have sworn he squirmed just a little then. Greetings, sir. What? Who are you? And why are you here? I'm Torin. Who are you? That's what I'm trying to determine. I mean, what's your name? Name? Vida. Is this why you come here? To torment me with unimportant questions? Where are the real questions? The ones aching deep inside you? Who are you? What do you believe? What do you know? Actually, I haven't really gotten to those questions yet. My question is more simple. Simpler? Huh? Uh, whatever. I'm trying to find a sorceress named Licentia. Could you help me? Forget her! I know the girl you should meet. Sweet girl, good to her parents, clever conversationalist. She has a nice personality. Uh-oh. I think not. See, I'm only here for a short stay. I need to find Licentia. Remember her? I asked you about her a few seconds ago. Never heard of her. Do you know how to get to the lands below? Do you know how to help the area below? What? I don't understand. You'd understand if it was you sitting on this stone tile all day and all night. The parts below, the bottom line, the rear guard. Are you trying to say your seat is uncomfortable? Uncomfortable, don't cut it. My seat's boiling. My buns are burning. Oi, I need relief. I see. No, you don't see, and you won't, because I'm not showing it to anybody. Now just go away, and I'll continue to suffer in silence. Somehow, I doubt that. Are you trying to say your seat is... Un I see. No, you don't. Somehow. Here's a thick, soft cushion I think you'll like. Let me feel. Ah, fine materials. Nice padding, soft cover, firm yet breathable. I thank you very much, O oh tall slender one. And in return, why don't you take this instrument of my torture? Just drop it over a cliff someplace if you don't want it, okay? Oh, I would never do that. Yeah. <sighs>
There's just no way I could climb down there without falling. Roast leg again? Mm, that's wonderful. There's just no way I could climb down there without falling. Mm, she never says bad things about you. Ooh, isn't that sweet smell? Perfect. So nice. That smells wonderful. Is that essence of Leaf Star you're wearing? Ah, perfect. So nice. She is such a whip. There's just no way I could climb down there without falling. Did I tell you about the new perfume you gave me? <laughs> this ought to drive those women out of there. Yes! What if I tried that inside, by that ladder? Now that the girls are gone, let's send you down there as a yo-yo, Boogle. Boogle, grab that tile hanging there! a boy boog This ladder looks a little rickety but <laughs> You've discovered the fast Google, see where that doorway goes.
<laughs> Hit it, Boog! This should either make that tree grow, or kill it completely.
Your Majesty, I think this tile is part of something important. You're right. It's part of my floor. No, no, no. Even more than that. You see, at the base of the opposite cliff, I found an unusual room containing a large formation that would hold this tile perfectly. I feel certain that the formation is something important. Perhaps it even holds access to the lands below. Why, then, of course you may take it. Thank you, Your Highness. The sacred chamber that lies ahead contains an ancient Theocrist column. For centuries, travelers have journeyed throughout the planet of Strata by means of these columns. Connecting the world with inner worlds, Theocrists are able to transmit far more than mere light. Through the use of Aristide powder discovered by Tor I in the early Unity period, people now have instant mobility. So step inside and enjoy the latest in Theocrist travel.
Before I pass judgment, have you anything to say? The child, is he safe? Far away, where he will come to no harm. Although we suspect your involvement in the murder of our beloved royal couple, we could not find enough evidence to convict you. But since you were clearly guilty of kidnapping the Crown Prince, you are hereby sentenced to spend the rest of your life in the lands below. I therefore order an ostracizing collar be fabricated for you and placed around your neck, never to be removed. And should you ever attempt to return to the lands above, the collar will tighten until it chokes you to death. this place. Wow, but it is beautiful. Maybe that's what I should do. Transport myself on down through that shard. Maybe that's what I should do. Of course. Why didn't I think of that before? I'll just use a little more of this Arresti powder and continue on down. Whoa! <sighs> what a fall. What the? Hey, stop that! After the pergolans tie you securely to the ground, they bring by all their friends to stare at you. You do not harm them, mainly because you're a skeleton. After the pergolans tie you securely to the ground, they bring by all their friends to stare at you. Stop that! Let me go! Get away! Shoot! Wait! Don't be afraid! Hold still! On behalf of all Pergolins everywhere, I would like to thank you, Giant, for saving the life of Ferma. Oh, that's all right. Ow! Oh, no, hey, quit! No, the too loud! Of my ears Soft, Maria! Uh, knock it off! Oh, sorry! Ooh, I mean, uh, okay. You seem to be a kinder, gentler giant, not like some giants we know. I wonder if you could help us with a problem. But of course. You need some logs moved, uh, rocks realigned, villages trampled. Much worse. We recently captured another giant, but very different from you. This one will not cooperate at all. What can I do? Perhaps if you talked with it. Well, okay, but are you sure I'll be safe? Follow me. Oh, 
Oh, no. No! I it's okay. I won't hurt you. No. No! It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Ha! Huh. You're with them, aren't you? Get away from me! But... but I want to free you. Get away! You'll only hurt me more. Won't you let me help you? Help me? Like they did? Ha! Huh. Show some respect. Just leave me here. To die. Oh, I could never do that. You're far too... too, uh... Too beautiful for me to leave you here. Flattery won't help. Go away, so help me if you do figure out a way to release me, I'll scratch your eyes out. Won't you let me help you? Help me? Let show some respect. Just leave. Oh, I could never do. Flattery won't. Hey, you're Lena, aren't you? I just came from your homeland. Uh, I met your mother and father. You did? Escarpa? My parents? Oh, how I wish I had listened to them. I wouldn't be in this mess. They told me to give you this. Oh, look. That is my dear sweet father. And I. Oh, how I miss them. Maybe you are from Escarpa, but... You're so tall. Who are you, anyway? My name is Torin, but I'm not from Escarpa. I'm from the lands above. Torin of the lands above. Do you promise not to harm me? I swear. At present, I can think of nothing worse. All right, then. Quick, cut me loose. Well, um, hmm. Hurry before they stop you. Yeah, uh, I can't. I I'll have to try to break each little thread, I suppose. Why? Use your knife. Well, that's just it. I didn't bring a knife. Some hero I am. Well, hold still. Here goes. Then, I'll tell you a little secret. All this time, I've had a knife hidden in my boot. But they tied me up before I regained consciousness. Now, hold still. I wouldn't want to cut you. Oh, thank you, Torin. That was horrible. Here. Here's your locket. Oh, Boogle. Here, let me help you up. Oh, wait. Look at your arms. You're bleeding. What? Oh, uh, I'm okay. I dropped a long ways through the trees before I landed on this soft loam. I must have, uh, you know, caught some branches on the way down. It's nothing. Nonsense. Come over here. I'm sure I heard a stream this way. Everyone in Escarpa said we should meet, but I never dared dream we really would. Everyone else was so short and hairy. I was always the ugly duckling. Too tall, too thin, hair only on top. But with you, I feel, I don't know, somehow normal. I think you're anything but normal. What? Torin? Well, huh? No, no, what I meant was uh, you're far above normal. You're, you're beautiful, wonderful, perfect. Oh, Torin. But my parents must be worried sick. Well, yeah, they are. They really want you to return home. And my parents, they're still in danger. I must I go must back. I must go on. You're, You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but will I see you again? You must. Ex 
Excuse me, you two. Will you be staying for dinner? If so, I'd better send out several hunting parties. No, we've got to leave immediately. We have to begin our search for a phenocryst. Oh, no need. I know right where one is, but it's pretty far away. What? I can't believe it. Does it work? Well, it might. You see, it hasn't been used in some time. Somehow, I could have guessed that. Let's go, Lena. Attention, everyone. This is Torin and his friend Lena. Please give him your attention. They're all yours. But what do I do? Well, that's the problem. No one knows. The Phenocryst hasn't been used in generations. Legend has it that when the Ostiaries find perfect harmony, the world will open unto them. But even when wearing these ancient sacred robes, they cannot find the way themselves. Can you help them? Oh, boy. Okay, uh, you step into the center. And you, uh, take his place. Hey, I didn't tell you to move. <laughs> Looks like you just got bored since you haven't moved anyone for a while. Oh no, there goes another one. They just can't Sorry. seem to hold still, can they? Wait, stop! Oh, Lena, I have to keep them from moving. Hurry, Lena! Jump up here!
That's it. The pattern was five descending notes leading to the fourth nested planet. The other door must go back to Escarpa.
Torin, I knew you could do it. You did? But now what? Oh, this part I know. Stand over here. I'll throw enough of this powder for both of us, and off we'll go. Don't forget me, Torin. I couldn't, Lena. Be careful. This licentia sounds dangerous. I will. Now, close your eyes. They are closed. Save enough powder for a trip to Escarpa. I promise. I'll see you soon, Lena. Somehow. Goodbye, Torin. And goodbye, Boogle. <laughs> I always felt you were innocent. Kurtzwell needed a scapegoat. All these years away from your home, your family, your friends, you must be so bitter. Perhaps. I've learned to use the darkness to get what I want. I've heard you've become quite the powerful sorceress. Oh? But not quite powerful enough to overcome the magic of that collar. Not yet. But perhaps soon. And when I do, I promise revenge. But what if you could return sooner? What? Ha! The collar will not be denied. I could release it for you. <laughs> oh, Peccant. You know its spell can only be broken by royalty. And no matter how much you scheme, you'll never be king as long as the boy lives. Yes, but think, Lysentia. Who sealed the collar? Kurtzwell. That... <sighs> Wait. Are you suggesting you could become Arch Authority? Let's just say if you'll do a small favor for me, I'll do a large favor for you. And just what would that small favor be? Nothing much, just a little magic spell. Smells like uh, ammonia. Hmm, there's a door back here, but it won't open. And there's no knob.
Hmm, there's a door back here, but it won't open. And there's no knob. Asthenia. Huh. There's a door back here, but it won't open. And there's no knob. Refuse to go back. I must find my parents. Hmm. There's a door back here, but it won't open. And there's no knob.
to see a military industrial complex with a sense of humor. Of course, maybe that's why there's no one left around. people lived who defended this island. That must be where the people lived who defended this island. people lived who defended this island. Cannonballs? Man, these suckers are heavy. Thank you. 
people lived who defended this This chamber must have been very important to the people who built this island's defenses.
In the bag, bub. There's no way I can reach the release handle from in here.
wonder what this does. I was wondering how I was going to get back. to go honored. But a fiery melting death is not a good ending for you in this game.
was wondering how I was going to get back. to go on Good, it's blocked. Let me guess, another console.
Oh, good. It's blocked. Let me guess. Another console. He's about to reach Tenebris. I'm sure there's no way he'll ever find you, but I just thought you'd want to know. You old fool! No complications, you said. <laughs> Simple, you said. <laughs> I should have known. <sighs> All right. I'll take care of it. He won't find me or his parents. Now, what about the rest of our bargain? In time, my dear, all in due time. Dreep! I have someone I'd like you to find. Boog. Hey, how did you do that? <laughs> hey, Boogle, let's go.
Oops. Um, can you get that? Thank you! Google, save us! Oh, save us! I said save us, Google! Ooh. All right, you, you'd better come with me. You're under arrest. But, officer, what for? Cruelty to plants. Just leave your friend here. If he's lucky, you'll be back in a few years. <laughs> Now what do I do? All this way just to be arrested? Where's mom and dad? Will I ever find them? And Boogle, I hope he's okay. Boogle, is that you? Boogle, no! Come on, boy. It's time. Do you have anything to say before I pass judgment, young man? Well, no, sir. Not really. It's just that, well, I'm really sorry I landed in your plants. It was an accident. I only landed in that flower bed because I fell out of that air duct that I crawled through to escape from that storeroom that I materialized in from that phenocryst that I used to get here from Asthenia. I didn't... Uh, that is, I... Oh... Phenocryst, you say? Uh, yes, sir. I haven't heard of one of those being used in years. Where did you say you were from, son? From the lands above, sir. See, see, this evil sorceress put my parents in a magic spell and, and kidnapped them, and this old guy saw it all, and, and he said her name was Licentia, and she's from down here, and, and, and that's where my parents are, so I set out to find her, and you know, save them, but nobody has ever heard of her, and, and well, I don't even know if she's down here, or, or if this has all been some kind of, and, jeez, do, do you think you could help me, sir? Lysentia, eh? There's no one on this planet by that name. But whether you're a visitor here or not, you need to learn three lessons about Tenebrous and me. First, Plants are very scarce around here, and we are not kind to those who damage them. Second, lawbreakers in my court are handled immediately and forcefully. And third, one more mistake and I'll toss you right off this planet into the Null Void. Now take him back where you found him. And young man, I don't ever want to see you here again. Wow. 
Excuse me. Yes? Oh, it's you. Could you help me? Help you? <laughs> I doubt it. After what you and your safe-like buddy did to my friends over there. Oh. But I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't know plants could hurt. In fact, I didn't know plants could talk. Well, not all can. Just exceptional plants, you see. <laughs> sure, I thought you looked uh, special. Well, yes, I... <laughs> uh, what is it you need, young man? I've searched this entire planet looking for an evil sorceress named Licentia. Have you heard of her? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Huh? Oh, uh, animal, I suppose. Doesn't matter, never heard of her. But that doesn't mean she doesn't live around here. I don't get out much. Roots, you know. <laughs> Is there anyone here in Tenebris that could help me? Well, let's see. Hmm. You know, there is that strange duck who's always recording odd crisps. Oh, uh, a duck? What's his name? Uh, where could I find him? No, he's not a real duck. I don't remember his name. Don't know that I ever heard it. But he might be down at the amphitheater. He hangs out there recording talent. Thank you so much. Now, uh, which way is the amphitheater? Oh, you can't get there from here. But this theater, which way is it? It's over the slippery slope. You'll never make it. Without a little help, that is. Help? Oh, could you? I'd be eternally grateful. No, you won't. That's just a cliché. But if we could work out a deal... Anything. Just name it. See my friends down there? Those pesky chameleon silkworms are wreaking havoc on their leaves. <laughs> Now who's the cliché? What? Oh, anyway, if you can stop the silkworms, I'll convince the grass to help you cross the slippery slope. So, it's silkworms I seek? Yes, Mr. Short-Term Memory Loss. Clear out those worms, and I'll help you get where you're going. Hey, come back here. Hey, come back here. Here's a dead, long-stemmed flower on this dauber plant. Surely no one would mind me pruning this. That's the courthouse in jail. <laughs> I'm not going back that way. This tree's trunk is covered with some very sticky stuff. Hey, stop poking me. Hey, you can speak. Although, I don't know why I'm surprised. Of course I can, but what good does it do me? No one listens. You sound discouraged. 
not so much discouraged, but sometimes I do get a little sentimental. Oh, I think all of us do sometimes. Yes, but when you're as well rooted as I, somehow old memories just stick to you. I see. Well, uh, not to go out on a limb, but why not branch out into new activities? Well, you know, I can't just leave, bud. I'm stuck here with a trunk load of memories. <laughs> What brings you here, just looking for someone to bark at? I'm searching for my parents. I think they were captured by Licentia, a sorceress I was told came from around here. Could you help me? Have you heard of her? You lost your parents? Oh, oh me too! I was transplanted at birth. Uh, you know, my dad was cut down in his prime of life by a guy chasing a wolf. And mom, she fell in the forest and nobody heard it. Gee, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that's all right. I told you I'm just a little sentimental sap. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm a mess. Well, you are rather drippy. Excuse me, do you mind if I borrow a little of this sap? No, not at all. Go ahead. Use me. Everyone does. I just hope that somehow, someday, someone, somewhere will find some way to make something out of us trees. Oh, and then they can cut us all down. <laughs> what if someone invents telephone poles? <laughs> Gotcha! I did it! The silkworms are no longer a problem. But aren't they kind of funny colored? Oh, those little buggers produce silk of any hue. Just place them on a color, and they'll make a copy of it for you. And in silk yet. But don't waste them. And please, don't drop them around here, okay? I did it. The silkworms are no... Oh, Now that I've rescued your friends, will you help me cross? Okay! Ah, ah, no! Ah, ah, no, no, ah, ah, no! Negatory! No way! No, 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 no way! No, 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 no way! No, no, not here! No, somewhere else! No, not here, not here! No, no way! No, negatory! No, no way! No way! Yeah, yep, yes, yeah. 
That's it! I'm out of here! If anyone needs me, I'll be in my trailer! Hold still. It's tough enough aiming between the two, two, uh, two of you.
quit. Quit? Who said that? I can't take this anymore, you know? Th there's gotta be a better gig than this. I'm out of here. Why, you ungrateful... You can't quit. You're fired. And I quit. Uh, I should have never fired his 15 sisters. Hi there. What a fool I've been. You seem unhappy. He almost killed me. I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I'm never going to work for him again. I'm looking for an evil sorceress named Licentia. Have you seen her? <laughs> he nearly killed me. Does she live around here? Not to mention twice yesterday. So is that a no? He was lucky to have somebody like me. You're not really paying attention to me, are you? Somebody with quick reflexes. Should I leave? His body count would even have been higher. Well, nice talking at you. Boy, he's a jerk. You seem distraught. I thought you could use someone to talk with. Not really. What I need is a job. I don't think I could help you there. No one can. <laughs> I'm out of luck. You know, <laughs> it's not like my family can just run around and it leaves or something. Maybe I should try to be a messenger. Yeah. Oh, I'm fast. Oh, but the stress, the stress. Oh, oh. Parcel delivery? Oh, no, that's too hard in the back. Pro athlete? Nah, there's not enough money. And besides, I'd hate to give up showbiz. Well, thanks for the chat, fella. Uh, yeah. Nice talking to you. Hi, pal. Hi. Say, are you that new saw player I've been hearing about, huh? No, I'm not. You know, the guy who brings tears to everyone's eyes. No, not me. Oh, don't be so modest. I hear you're, you're hot, you're hot. Oh, real hot. No. For, for a musical saw player, that is. How you doing, bunny buddy? The name is Bags, not Buddy. Mine's Torin. Found anything yet? Nothing yet, but uh, I am starting to network. Something may open up for me real soon now. But you see, it's got to come with the white pikes. I am not putting up with that same old, same old like I did with Archer. I, 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 I want to see the proof up front. Uh, good living conditions, everything spelled out in black and white. No more of this promises stuff. Later, next quarter, after the physical ends. Yeah, I've had it with that jazz. No, I am going to hold out for a plush little condo. Good location, too. Quality furnishings. You know the pitch. Uh, yeah. Well, whew, good luck. How you doing, bunny buddy? The name? Mine's Tor. Oh, nothing yet. Uh, yeah. Well... Excuse me. Yeah? I'm looking for a sorceress. I ain't her. I'm sorry to bother you, but do you know Licentia? No, you didn't. Huh? You didn't send me. The Union Hall sent me. No, no, no. Licentia. She's a sorceress from around here, I think. I never heard of her. Who were you? You that new musical saw play everybody's been raving about. Musical saw? You can use a saw to make music? Well, sometimes it make this one here sing a little. Have you seen this saw player? No, the only saw I saw is this saw I saw with. I think we all saw that one coming. 
Have you seen this saw player? No, the only I think we all Excuse me. Just wait your turn. I'll call you when I'm ready for you. You can warm up anywhere, but just do it quietly. I've got people on stage already. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone, and no one's been able to help me. I was just wondering, um... Shh, I'm recording. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this better? No, not really. Uh, let me hit pause here. There. Now, what was it you were saying? I'm Torin, and I'm seeking... No use to whisper now, young man. Oh, well, anyway, I'm Torin, and I'm trying to locate an evil sorceress named Licentia. Licentia, eh? Oh, sure, I know her. You do? Oh, I've asked darn near everybody on this planet, and you're the only one. I'm probably one of the few who does know her. My hobby is recording rare voices, and hers is one of the rarest. Then you know where I could find her? Oh, you wouldn't want to. When I met her, I found her quite rude. Rude? She's more than rude. She's unscrupulous, ruthless, unconscionable, immoral, unethical, unprincipled. She's... Whoa, calm down. It doesn't matter. You can't get to her anyway. What do you mean, can't get to her? You don't know how far I've come already. Why, I've survived capture in the jungle, vicious vultures, stinking skunks, lava, snails, slugs, you name it. Of course I'll get to her. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. What is that accent? You see, young man, Lysentia was expelled from our world many years ago. Tossed into the Null Void she was, and never heard from again. The Null Void? I've got to go after her. That will be a problem. The Void is so dangerous. All the entrances to it were sealed long ago. You said uh, you record voices. Um, have you recorded hers? Why, yes, I have. It's one of my rarest treasures. I'd love to have it. Oh no, to someone like me, there's nothing more valuable than a rare voice. Oh really? What if you had a voice rarer than Licentia's? What? Why, I don't think that's possible. Oh yeah? Do you have any recordings from the lands above? Of course not. The last time those savages visited us, this odd Chris technology was not even developed. I am one of those savages. What? You? Is it possible? That accent, it's subtle, but... I thought I detected something unusual in your voice. What do you say? Trade a recording of Licentia for a recording of a voice you may never hear again? Well, um, a deal. Okay, what do you want me to say? Anything, uh, let me set up a clean crystal here. There, ready when you are. Test, test, is this on? Hello? My name is Torin, from the Farman Valley, near Crystal City, in the lands above. I've traveled through 
Escarpa, uh, Pergola, and Asthenia to get to Tenebris for only one reason, to find the evil sorceress Licentia, force her to free my parents and my friend Boogle, and in the process, teach her a lesson. That's enough. It's only a ten meg crystal. Great. Uh, uh, now, let me find that odd Christ with her voice. And here, I'll even throw in this old Christ corder so you can play it back. You're not welcome here, you decrepit old creep. You're not welcome here. Excuse me, are there any sorceresses around? Swabagets with wakwing sauce. Did he say something about sauce? Excuse me, are there any sorceresses around? Swabagets with wakwing sauce. Did he say something about sauce? No, they need that rosin more than I do. Excuse me, are you a magician? Who? Where? Oh, me. Yes. Actually, I am a magician. Well, no. I'm not just any magician. As of yesterday morning, I'm Zippy the Magnificent. And who are you? I'm Torin of the Lands Above. Well, Torin, would you like to see a trick? Well, actually, I was going to ask you some questions. Splendid. All right, here. Take this deck of cards. Cut it anywhere. Memorize the card. Got it? Good. Now hold the deck tightly between your two hands. Tighter. Don't let go. Remember your card? Yes. Now, if I could make your card appear from my sleeve, in spite of the fact that you're still holding that selfsame card in your very own hands, would you be impressed? Yeah, I guess. Well, all I have to do is say the magic words, Ali McGraw, and presto. Here's your card. That's not my card. That's a bouquet of flowers. Oops. Uh, <clears throat> I knew that. Here, watch me make that disappear. All right. Now, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yes. If I could make your card appear from my sleeve, in spite of the fact that you're holding hands with that very same card, would you be impressed? Yeah, I guess. And here it is, right here. No, that's not my card either. Well, what did you have? A heart? No, that's not even a card. That's a bird. Oh, so it is. Get out of here. Oh, do I need a better act. Okay, is this your card? No, that's a book. Well, I don't know where your card is. Maybe it's still there in your hands. 
You know, at this point, I don't really care. All right, then. Give me back my cards. You can keep your lousy two of diamonds. <laughs> hey, that's right. That was my card. Well, it's too late now to sweet talk me. If only I had one good trick. You want to try that card trick again? No, I've had it with that trick. I'm just going to stand here until I come up with something spectacular. Or something great. Well, at least something not bad. You want to try that card trick again? No, I've had it with... Have you seen this saw player? No, the only saw I saw is this saw I saw with. I think we all saw that one coming. <coughs> warm up? Did you say warm up? It's not really that cold in here. I'm laughing. What's your name? Torin. But I don't have an act. Neither do the rest of these clowns. Hey, cut it out! And I don't mean with my saw! Have you seen this saw player? No, the only saw I saw is this saw I saw with. I think we all saw that one coming. Hey, Bags, take a look at this. Say, nice twins. Yeah, and look inside. Whoa, whoa, is that real silk? I think so. It feels real to me. Uh, uh you mind if I try it on? No, not at all. Oh, I love it, I love it. Oh, it's me. Oh, it's definitely me. What do you think? Huh? Oh, oh, yes. It's you. It's very you. 
Oh, 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 look, look, I, I, it's got a, a secret compartment, too. It seems complete. Room enough for a pool. Practice my breaststroke. I'll take it, I'll take it. Now, wait a minute. We don't know if Zippy the Magnificent will accept you or not. Accept me? Are you kidding? He's been wanting me to join him for years. But you should have seen the dump he offered me. He never had digs like these. Oh, yeah. He'll take me all right. He'd be a fool not to. See, I, I, I know the bees. Just wait. Uh, wait till I tell the missus. You want to try that card trick again? No, I've had it with that trick. I'm just... You'll never guess what I got for you, Zippy. You're right. Put it down so I can feel it. It's a real top hat with a rabbit inside. You know, like in a real magic trick. Let me see. Yes, but who's this? It's me, Zippy. Biggs. Biggs Bunny. You remember me, don't you? Yes. I thought you said you'd never work for me. But that was before you offered me this fine silk line top hat to live in. Man, what a hat like this. Even you should be able to do magic. Hey, are you going to start this relationship off on a sour note? Or step inside and I'll do the tricks. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for magicians. Ah, grab your wand and let's practice. Uh, that is a problem. I seem to have lost my magic wand. Oh, no problem. Ask this touring guy here to find it. What did it look like? Oops. Sorry. Here you go, Zippy. I found your wand. Oh, thank you, Torin. Say, this isn't my wand. What are you trying to pull here? Uh, nothing. I, I thought you needed a wand. I do. But remember, I'm blind, not stupid. Well, what's the difference? Wand schmand. Are you a magician, or ain't you? You're right. Thank you, Torin. This will do just fine. So what are you waiting for? Pull a fancy colored silk over me and let's get rolling! Uh, well now, that's another problem. What now? I, uh, don't have a silk. A magician without a silk kerchief? Torin! Yes, Torin. I made this beautiful silk as a gift for you, Zippy. Why, thank you. It feels lovely. So smooth. I just don't know what I'll do with it. Perhaps stuff it in my breast pocket. I don't know. I was thinking you might use it to cover the rabbit inside your top hat. That's good, too. So, what are we waiting for? Show us a trick. Here, yeah, Zippy. It's showtime. Pull that fancy silk over me. All right, I will. Thanks to you, Torin. You know, you've been so nice to me. Would you like this book of magic spells? It should get you past any sorcerers you find in these parts. Besides, I don't read that much anymore. Thanks, Zippy, and good luck with your act.
This bow could use something to keep it from slipping. Ooh. <laughs> uh, this bow could use something to keep it from slipping. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Torin, one minute, Mr. Torin. And now, a medley of my favorite songs from the lands above. <laughs> Where the peat moss croons in the light of three full moons, and those <clears throat> crystal mountains summon my heart home. Yes, the lands above are the place I'll always love. No matter through how many worlds I roam. <clears throat> that's it, that's it. Now come with me. But officer, why, you have tears in your eyes. Are you from the lands above too? No, I'm a musician. Now come with me, you're under arrest. What for? Impersonating a singer. Torin of the lands above, since you violated the probationary period I granted you, I have no choice but to sentence you to immediate ostracization from the world of Tenebrous. Into the Null Void with him! Not the Null Void! Exactly where I want to go. Here we are, boy. Now you stand over there. Hey! Good riddance, plant crusher. How can I just float in midair like this? Oh, I get it. In the very center of the planet, gravity pulls equally from all directions. But how can I move? There's nothing to grab onto.
this way and not be able to get inside.
creep. Come here, you decrepit old cure. Creep, come here, you decrepit old cure. Creep, come here, you decrepit old not well. Creep, come here, you. Creep, come here, you. Creep, come here. 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 Let's see just how smart that monster of hers is. Creep, come here. Creep, come here. Creep, come here. Come here. Dreep. Come here. Creep. 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 Come here. Creep, come here. Dreep. Creep, come here. 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 Dreep. Come here. Creep, 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 come here. Creep. Come here. Creep, 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 come here. Creep. Come here. Creep, 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 come here. Creep. Come here. Creep, come here. Creep, come here. 
Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap. Come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Let's see just how smart that monster of hers is. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. Reap, dream here. Reap, come 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 here. Reap, come. Come here. Come here. Reap. Come here. Reap. Come here. Reap. Come here, Reap. Let's see just how smart that monster here, Reap. is. Come here, Reap. Come here, Reap. Come here, Reap. Dream here, Reap. Come 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 here. Here, come here, Reap. 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 Come here. Come here. De Come here. De reap. Come here. De reap. Come here. De reap. Come here. De reap.
Come here, de reap. Come here, de reap. Come here, de reap. Dreep. Come here, de reap. 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 Let's see Come just how smart that monster purse is. Come here, de reap. Come here, de reap. Dreep here, de reap. Come 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 here, de reap. What the Google? Mom. Dad! I swear I'll stop her. What? You dare enter my home and attempt your little magic spells on me! <laughs> Foolish boy! I have more power in my little finger than you'll ever possess. <gasps> the collar. Torin. Of course. Who else could remove the collar? How do you know my name? I was your nanny. Nanny? I saved your life the night your parents were murdered. Murdered? No! How could you? I thought you had them in a magic spell. No, Torin. The Farmans are safe. But they're not your real parents. Your real parents were the king and queen of the lands above. What? Then I'm... That's right. You're the next king. No, that's wrong. I'm the next king. You should have died in your cradle that night, little nephew. After searching for you all these years, you won't escape me now. I killed your parents. And now, I'll kill you. One step closer, boy, and I'll finish her. Licentia! Licentia, are you okay? That was close. I thought he had you there for a second. Hey, Licentia! 
But the lava. Oh, 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 oh Torin. <laughs> That's not lava. That's Dreep's supper dish. What about my parents and Boogle? Of course. Torin, I think it's time for all of us to go back home. To the lands above. Where's my tools? From town, remember? Son, who's this lady? And is she gonna stay for dinner? Mom, Dad, oh, it's great to be home again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>